Today we are upgrading to Kato's Micro Runners, 19,600 KV. Here's a B-Brain Tiny Whoop that I've built here, and surrounded it are all the props in the right orientation. Notice how for each motor, you've got different colored wires. Red and blue here, that spins clockwise. Diagonal over here, same thing. And then you've got counterclockwise over here, black and white, and diagonal down here. And also, you're actually going to install the props onto the motors first. And notice how you just push them till they almost bottom out, but not too much, because you'll ruin the actual bearing at the top. Notice how we're keeping the same orientation as before. Now we're going to disassemble this X brace I have on here and we're going to pull all the wires and motors out and we're just going to swap them in and plug them all into the actual board one by one keeping the orientation all the same. What you want to do to get these motors out is orientate your fingers like this and actually push just like that turn around and pull it the rest of the way. Now be careful when you're doing this because it wants to break every time. There you go. Just so here's the new motor going in. Again, you hold the back here and you just push. So it pretty much bottoms out. And a lot of people recommend that you actually twist these to get the wires to actually be shorter. So you twist them, twist them, twist them, and you plug it in just like this. And there's a special orientation. You'll see on the end here, see a little tab here. You actually go to your, your board here. And you get that tab to line up. You push it just like, like, just like this. Click that in, and bam, that's an install. So now we have all the motors installed, all the props oriented properly. And we're going to use these elastic, little baby elastic bands to actually pop over these motors. And install into the wires to keep the wires out of the way for the props and to streamline this process. Oh, it's the last one. These are very tough to get on. They're very small, very powerful little elastic bands. There we go, just like this. You slip it all the way down and bam. Now you're just taking the brace here. Got all the motors and the wires roughly where they want them to be. You can adjust them later. But I'm just going to slip this brace on. And I start diagonal because it actually goes on much easier that way. All the way down to the elastic band. And without this brace, this frame is really rigid, uh, loose, but with actually installed, it's a really stiff and perfect frame. Now this is a upgraded Tiny Whip drone.